Good morning, John Neal here. It's Thursday the 25th of November 2021 and it's a bright, shiny morning. The jet stream has done its bit, waved its arm and sent all the wind from the very North Pole down to greet us. And as a result, uh, it's really chilly. Uh, it's not exactly freezing at the moment, but we had a frost overnight, which I really quite like. And it's a beautiful morning. So this is a living postcard from Congerston. I've been asked to do this living postcard or video uh, appreciation of Congerston, which is a small village in Leicestershire, just a bit north of uh, Market Bosworth, which I've been to many a time. Uh, so I thought, well, here we go. Nice stay for it, driving to here. This is the road that comes from the main A444, which is the Nuneaton to Burton Road. But this is a small, smaller road that goes over towards Shackerston and then Congerston. I think it's called Congerston. You know the locals, they'll change it to be something else, I know. But I always drive past this post, which has got a little sign next to it. And it's quite gory really, because in 1801, a certain, oh, what was his name, John Massey, murdered his wife, and, oh, terrible. Anyway, he was committed to be hung and then gibbeted yeah and what they did was wrap him in his body his dead body in chains back in the place that he had committed the crime so this is a gibbet post they'd wrap his body in chains hang it here so everybody could see what happened to people who murdered folk yeah well that's what they did in those days Ooh. Uh, so each time i come by it's um uh gives a bit of a chill really Let's move on to Congston proper. Well, this is the pretty centre of Congerston, and there's a war memorial which uh, is shared by Congerston, Gopsall, and uh, Bilston, which are villages nearby. There's a big Gopsall Hall, by the way, which is another story altogether. So I think the history of this area is wrapped up in this uh, big hall that was around um, in the past, in its heyday. And this is the, uh, the middle of... Uh, Congerston and I have to say it's just a very beautiful little village but it's just very much the same as a lot of the other villages around in Leicestershire um, to say that well there's a lot of money here to be honest there's some uh, very very nice houses uh, barn conversions and new builds as well um, there's a whole little I wouldn't say an estate but there's a group of new houses down here and then occasional individual houses freshly built and 
I couldn't afford them, let's put it that way. Um, and uh, unfortunately the villages uh, then start to lose other aspects of their lives. The, uh, and it's labelled on the houses here which is now the old post office or the forge. And uh, that's what was here in the past. Um, there is still uh, a pub down the end here, the Horse and Jockey which I've been to. Uh, just very very nice food and they again they're not just sort of regular drinking pubs they are bistro pubs if you like if not more than that because the ones in this area in South Leicestershire are a little bit up market and you'll pay quite a good price for a three course meal uh, for you know if there's two of you went for a three course meal everything thrown in you could you're, you're certainly knocking on towards 100, 120 quid for the whole thing the uh, church is just over here and I think that is still the center of the, a lot of activity here I had an opinion because I looked on the map and it said that the church was disused but it's not let's go and have a look as with most of these villages the church will have had quite a large rectory uh, or vicarage next to it. Don't ask me the difference, don't know. Um, and those have since been sold on because the parishes all joined together as the church has developed the way it has, or undeveloped the way it has. <clears throat> so there's a big house there and they often would have built a bigger house building of a modern rectory nearby. Uh, so that's I think what's the old rectory huge building i don't know how they do it huge building in what is really quite a small uh village and they will have been built you know in the 19th century most of them just before we get into the church um there's a playground here as you can see and there's even a football there so it has been used uh, and good to see and it looks quite usable and over to the side here are some can I use the term affordable housing, which sort of implies that the housing is not affordable. For instance, the house I've just walked past, I happen to know, just looked on the internet, just sold recently for 1.1 million pounds. To be honest, not a bad price because it's a heck of a building, a fantastic uh, house, very modern. Anyway, here's the church. Yesterday it was open. steps down the Barton Road which goes to Barton in the Beans which is another village if you're wondering what I'm talking about and there's some very nice houses down here newly built uh, some quite expensive but some smaller ones here terraced houses with some carriages at the back so there's a fair range of brand new houses which have made the village bigger of course and uh, I suppose eventually given it a bit more life which is great look at these berries on this bush Fantastic. It What's good for? about it? Ah, I like, uh, it's got a really nice community spirit. There's lots on, particularly when the kids were little, there's lots on for the kids. They yeah. did Halloween parties in the village hall. Yeah. And they did Christmas parties. And now the school does lots of, because of COVID and everything, they've done lots of sort of taken the mantle with that, but they do trails and things. So we had a pumpkin trail really that's there's nice there's going to be an advent window thing this christmas what else was that 
Oh, there'll be, a, I think, a kind of Santa trail through the village at Christmas. So it's for the kids, it's been really good. Yeah, that's We joined good. when the kids were just starting up at the school. Yeah, there. that's one thing. I, I was saying, you know, there isn't a, uh, a forge or a post office anymore, but there is a pub. Yeah. As it is, a uh, horse and jockey. Yeah. Um, but there is the school still here, yeah. which gives, you know, a life to the place, I isn't it? And I think people come from miles now to come into the school. It's got a good reputation. Really? That's nice. Yeah, good. Thank you very much. Cungiston? Yeah. Cungiston. It's, it's pronounced Cungiston, but spelt Congestown. Yeah. I thought there would be something different about it. <laughs> I've done that as I came through. Um, and I know it fairly well. I've known the uh, the Rickard family for about 30 years. Oh, right. They've um, been a bank for a long time. Yeah, I just see um, uh, there's a, a Walter Rickard, which I think is the current Walter's yeah. father. In, His grave's in the, in the church. church. Right. Yeah. Died in 1966. Yeah. So... But uh, Walter himself, uh, he must be getting on well for a long time now. I don't see him so much nowadays, but uh, no. Rosemary's still there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, she is. And, um, she, Robert and Walter. She held the service on uh, Remembrance Sunday. Oh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there were only seven of us there, but small village. And yeah. There were many other Remembrance uh, things going on yeah. on that day, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you lived here? Uh, since 2006. Right. So about uh, 14, 15, 15 years. 15, 15 yeah. years now. Yeah. 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 Where are you from originally? Only from Tamworth. Well, <laughs> Kingsbury. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but I've, um, you know, worked elsewhere. So uh, I've been away from the area for quite a long time. So what? What? What's Congestion? Is that right? Congestion. Congestion. <laughs> so what's uh, what's what's the good points about it then? Well, it's a good close community. Uh, we have a WhatsApp site, certainly for the area where I, I live. There are 11 properties and we, when COVID came, of course, yeah. we were helping each other out with yeah. deliveries, yeah. groceries, yeah. so that one would go out and buy for many yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then deliver them yeah. uh, when we were able to so uh, yeah it's a good close community uh, it's good that we've got a pub in the village you still got the pub you still got the i thought the church was uh i oh, said on the map disused no. because that's the last thing it's, it's very well kept we've just spent with a grant all right uh, tens of thousands on the roof yeah uh, and other things as well yeah the new time extra and piece of yeah. uh, people to have uh, you know washing facilities and yeah cup yeah. of tea and coffee and whatever yeah. you used to have a second that was the second pub in the village what this one this white this one, white yeah. building what was it, it used called to be called the fox and hounds yeah and i believe it was about 1975 76 that it stopped operating as a pub right. But it's still got its school, which is mm. nice. I think the school seems to keep the life going in the place, doesn't well, it? Well, it does, and it's nice to hear the kiddies playing in yeah. the playground, and, and we get that over here as well. Yeah. And the sound drifts over. Very quiet so village. And you can sit in your garden in the summer and you have to whisper. <laughs> everybody can hear. But when the church bells are going, they do that on a Thursday. Yeah. Or something. Um, it's really that's, lovely. That's, that's an iconic sound, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. On, on Radio 4 they do church bells Did they? I heard that No. and I thought this must be a title of a programme <laughs> no, it was just church bells that's all it was so people around the world can listen just to but village that, church bells well, that's on. typical of Radio 4 though it, it is, I it's mean, a wonderful it's lovely programme yeah, yeah, Bill. Bill thank you very much Bill, that'll do me <laughs> Congestion, Congestion, Congestone, however you'd like to pronounce it. Lovely little village, uh, just about ooh, three or four miles, is it that? Uh, north of 
Market Bosworth in Leicestershire, England. All this at the request of Paul Waite, who knows somebody who's going to move here, and very nice it will be too. It seems like a very nice place. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll meet again next time. Okay, bye bye. How is she